In this video, we'll discuss the different options available to agents and supervisors within the Agent Console section. Agents will appear in the console based on settings configured in the admin and assigned desktop template. The console will display agents based on three different settings, which can be configured to show all agents, only show agents that are within the same queue, or only show agents to supervisors which would require you to be listed as a supervisor of an agent in order to view them in the console. Agents also have some basic settings available at the top right of the console under the gear icon. This will enable agents to adjust the size of the console window and choose if they would like to view agents that are offline. We are also able to see how many agents are currently visible and the total number of agents that will show if we select it to view offline agents. The agent tiles that appear in the console will provide some basic details and call control. Starting at the top of the tile, we'll see the agent's name, ID or extension, current status, and how long they've been in the current status. The color of the tile and the status will update based on the agent's activity. If an agent selects a D&D setting, the tile will turn red and the text on the tile will display the selected status. When an agent selects ready, the tile will change to green and display ready. When a call is received, the tile will turn red, display alerting, and show the associated queue of the call under the extension. If the call is answered, the tile will remain red and display busy. Now we'll move to the bottom of the tile and go over the different icons displayed. These icons will provide call control and other specific agent related interactions. Standard agents and supervisors will have similar icons on their tiles but supervisors will typically have four additional icons, which we'll cover in more detail later in this video. For now, we'll start by discussing the common icons available to a standard agent and supervisor. Starting at the bottom left, we have a phone icon, which is used to dial an agent without entering their extension in the top menu bar. Next to the phone icon, we have a speech bubble, which is used to chat directly with the agent. The double right arrows are used to perform blind or unsupervised transfers to an agent. Now let's have a look at a supervisor's tile and discuss the four additional icons typically assigned. As seen here, we now have listen, whisper, barge, and take icons available. So let's discuss the new functionality each of our new icons provide. The listen icon, which looks like a pair of headphones, will let us listen to an agent's conversation. The whisper icon, which looks like a microphone, will let us coach or speak to an agent while they are currently on the line with a customer. The barge icon, which has an arrow pointing toward a box, enables us to be a part of the agent's conversation and speak directly with the customer. The take icon, which looks like an up arrow with a horizontal bar under it, will enable us to take over an agent's call. The agent will be removed from the call when the icon is selected. And that concludes the agent console overview and the different options available on agents and supervisor tiles.